crafty friends helen here and welcome today i will be creating a fun scene card for you using the stamp of the month and the paper pad club of the month here is what the images look like all stamped they are fun summer images with cloud shells sunshine and ice cream i will be using this die by mama elephant and i've gone ahead and die cut that on one of the sandy pattern papers that i chose and i chose a very subtle background and here are all my images colored as well as what the sentiments look like when it's die cut and I used my uh, Crayola colored pencils they are the twistable ones and I just wanted to try it out and see how my, my card would look like if I colored it with the colored pencils I like coloring the adult coloring book at home so i was like i wonder you know how it would look if i colored my stamped images and you know i like how my coloring pages look with the adult coloring you know images so i thought why not just try it and um i really had fun coloring it with the crayola colored pencils the only thing is if you want to shade it in like with a darker shade like kind of like if you're doing a gradient thing with your alcohol markers it is a little difficult to blend you know so i think that's where a more um i guess expensive uh watercolor come into play i mean not watercolor but colored pencils uh but for the most part you know i I did try to shade in like, for example, the sun where I picked a darker color to put on the outside. But instead of me going on top of that with a lighter color, I just went beneath it because it's it's hard to uh, blend two colors on top of another, I find, with these Crayola colored pencils. I hope that made sense. I'm sorry if I'm confusing you guys, but... Um, so I just opted to color it one layer because I was having a difficult time blending two colors. Um, I don't have expensive uh, colored pencils. Um, in the future, I may invest on some, uh, but for now, I'm pretty happy with the result of my uh, coloring <laughs> using these uh, colored pencils now i didn't show on camera how i came up with my design as far as where the placement goes because that actually took over 10 minutes um i was i knew i wanted to make a scene card using this die and i like to challenge myself to use up all of the images from a stamp set uh because it's just a fun challenge for me and if you've been watching me for a while you know that I do like to do this and um, I'm happy to say that I did end up using it all uh, so I, I just tried to I guess make it look um, cohesive I don't know like like I was going to put the sun on top where the cloud is but then the sentiment that I have there in the center had the word sun so I thought I'm gonna put the sun right there and and there's really no right or wrong way right you guys <laughs> how we make our cards um so this whole card like I just told myself it's okay to put things out of place just because the sun is like above us doesn't mean it has to be there because we're making a scene card each little rectangle like I just pretended each little rectangle is a scene so separate from the top and bottom if that makes any sense but anyway uh i just went on went along with it and you know i was really happy with how it turned out i try to pick out colors similar to the pattern paper colors and so there's a lot of um, blues of course as well as pinks the only thing that really stands out is the green which is from the ice cream cone and the popsicle stick and in my mind I was like mm, I want some pistachio ice cream <laughs> 
So um, that's how I colored it because I was actually thinking about a pistachio ice cream probably because I had like a pistachio macaron last week with my uh, daughters. So yeah, pistachio has been in my mind. But yeah, so I took like the biggest sentiment, which is sunshine and happiness, happiness are headed your way. And I took that and put it in the inside of my card. So that way it won't go to waste. And then for the final touch, I am using some of Jamie's uh, sparkly enamel dots. And I'll be adding um, enamel dots on each rectangle uh, areas just so, you know, the eye would go to where I want it to go if that makes any sense and that will complete my card so I hope you enjoyed this process I know I don't uh, make enough uh, videos just using stamps uh, this so this is kind of like out of my comfort zone but for but for the most part I was really happy with it and I hope you like it thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today and I will see you on my next video have a wonderful day bye